This guide will show you everything you need to do to make a thousand pound per day trading the forex markets. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome, my name is Jacob, this is Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to be happy and consistently profitable. Remember guys, if you are new here, hit the subscribe button, it really helps out, and let's just get into the video. So today, I'm showing you exactly how you can make a £1,000 per day trading the forex markets. If you are new here, remember to join the Discord community as well, I post all the new videos in there and you can stay up to date. I post trading setups that happen live and also respond to any of your questions. Now there's four parts to this guide. I would say that these are in order of importance and the four sections are having a strategy, the psychology, money management and capital. And I'm putting those in order of the strategy is least important and capital is most important if you are looking to trade and make a thousand pound per day. Now I'll get on to the reason why I think capital is the most important later. Um, but let's just jump into those four sections and get on with the video. So the first one is having a strategy. Now I suggest having a short term strategy and Later on, I'll show you some trade, I'll show you some trade examples and go over combining all four of these things together. But to start with, you need a strategy and I do suggest a short term strategy. Now, the reason for this is mainly down to psychology and just knowing that if you are having a short term strategy, if you miss a trade or a trade doesn't happen for that day, there's going to be another one tomorrow or the next day. Um, so typically, I would suggest going for three to four trades a week. Uh, you need something that's systematic, uh, very easy to follow, yes or no kind of strategy where it's, if this doesn't happen exactly, then you don't take a trade. Um, and preferably you want minimal risk with a big reward so the next section is psychology um, with a short term trading trading strategy obviously you understand that if you miss a trade there's going to be a better trade soon and that's crucial to not over trading and rushing into trades the next section of psychology is having routines um, so the less kind of stuff you need to think about during the day, the better. Because the more routines that you can have, the more time you can focus on actually trading profitably. The next one is confidence in yourself and the strategy that you're trading. And the final point to psychology is to think in terms of percentages and not the actual monetary amount that you're making. Um... If you're thinking in terms of pounds or dollars, it's not really going to work because as soon as you start thinking about how much you can make and what you can spend it on, you're going to want to take profit quickly and you're not going to want to get out of those losing trades. So the next one is money management. And this is the, mo the second most important thing, I think, other than capital. Risking 1% per trade every single time and not deviating from that and also having a minimum profit of two percent and the most important one is having the capital that you need to actually make a thousand pound per day because you can't be on a 10k account and make a thousand pound a day realistically i would say you need a minimum of a 100k trading account now a lot of people are just going to click off the video right there and think, well, I don't have 100k. And that's fair enough, whatever. But you can go and get 100k through FTMO, for example, or other prop firms. 
Now, FTMA is just the one that I've seen and think that is the best option. Um, and that's the one that I would suggest you go and use because you can get a 100k account from them. And if you're taking three to four trades per week, let's say you're winning 30% of those trades and you've got a good risk to reward, you don't need many winners. Um, even a 50% and you've got a less risk to reward. So now let's get into the charts and combine all those things together and go over some examples for this month's trading. So right now it's June uh, in 2020. So we'll go over some of the trades for this month. Um, now obviously there are winners, there are losers. But you've got to take into account that there are trades that are good and there are trades that are bad and that's just a typical strategy. Um, now the first trade is one that I had yesterday on the 12th of June um, and it's this trade right here. Now I know that a lot of people are going to be thinking that entry doesn't look real um, but it is, it's just lucky. Um, it's just a very lucky entry right there. Um, I didn't think that price was going to turn where it did. Um, I was just entering the market because it was in this zone. Other things played out nicely. And of course the market turned and it was a nice trade. Now just to show that I was looking at this trade when... I got in so I didn't just place you know the trade there I'm just going to get up the discord community and the actual trade example for you guys so as you can see here it's a bit blurry but um, I might, I'll get it up on discord so as you can see there's the trade so getting in here and short on GBP USD yesterday at 11.03 now if we come back here right here the time down here is 11 and obviously that's the candle that we got in so yeah 11 o'clock 11.03 it got in and uh, 10 pip stop loss I'll just put that on there now so 10 pip stop loss and then targeting these lows down here. And that is a 7.88% um, risk to reward, which is also a 7.8% return. Because you're risking 1% to make seven. And obviously, on if, you, if you've got that 100K account from FTMO, you've just made 7,800 pound in one day. So that's the kind of basis that it is. I'm not going to be going over the strategy because it's not important. The important thing is that you have a strategy that you're comfortable trading every single day and you can get those good risk to rewards. Um, so let's just move on to the next one. So this was another trade on Thursday. Again, only using 10 pip stop losses. And we got in on this candle here. And the market came up, moved stop loss to entry, took 1% off. Um, so that was another £1,000 on Thursday. In the bag, 1%. Here, we had a loser. So we got in on this candle here. And the market just went straight up. Out for 1%, or minus 1%, I should say. But again, you can argue with this that this isn't a good trade setup because... Actually, no, I'm, I'm not even going to go into that because that's going into the strategy. One, minus 1% 1 on that one. Minus 1% 1 on this one as well. Um, so you've had two losing trades in a row that are minuses. And this is a really good trade. Um, but even though it was a loss, it's still a good trade because the trade setup is exactly what the trade plan had. And here's another trade. Um... So, so far, we've taken a trade every single day this week. 
So Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. You took five trades that week. Um, so you had two losers and three winners. Um, and I'll go over the whole kind of profit again and all that kind of stuff in a second. Just going to go over the trades first. So this is a loser, another minus 1%. Plus 6% on this one. Um, so if we just zoom out a little bit, you can see the trades. And then if we just get a calculator. So that is a 6.2% gain. Plus 1% gain. Plus the 7.8% gain. Minus the two trades that were negative, and you made 13%. So divide that by five because you've got five trading days in a week, and you made 2.6% on a thousand pound account. That's 2,600 pounds per day. And obviously, not every single week is going to be like this, but that is a typical week. You've got two losers. You've got three winners, and yeah, you're making two and a half grand a week on a 100k account, risking only 1%. And that's the key you're risking 1% to make, you know, 5 to 8% per trade. Now, obviously, you're not going to make 5% to 8% per trade every single trade, but the possibility of making that much is what makes the £1,000 per day very feasible. And as I was mentioning, you're not going to have this every single week. Some weeks you're going to lose, some weeks you're going to break even. But over the period of a year, you've got a very high probability of making £1,000 per day. Because you're going to have weeks like this, where you do make 2.5% or two and a half grand per day. So that's basically how you can do it. Obviously, it's a bit more complicated than that. You've got the strategy and all that kind of stuff, the psychology. But breaking it down, that's the basis to it. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, comment below what you thought was good about the video. If you've got any things that you think I could improve on, comment that below as well. Um, it's always good to hear feedback and if you've enjoyed the video, if you did, let me know so I can make more videos like this. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, happy traders, happy trading and I'll see you in the next video.